the things to bring and the things not to bring to UK when you're coming. UK socket is the same thing we use in Nigeria. So don't bring anything to UK. Don't buy winter jackets from Nigeria. Food is the one that will take like 60% of your load. I don't see the reason why you should bring yam, tuba of yam into this country. Because you work a lot in UK. Did not tell you before. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your baby girl again, Moni Lagos, and I'm here with another exciting video. You know the vibe already. If this is your first time stopping by, my name is Moni Nola and I am a YouTuber based in UK. Make sure to subscribe before you leave. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video right you guys i am starting this series for my guys you guys yeah you that is coming to uk in september or end of august this series is going to run through august and it's going to be i'm going to be dropping these videos during the week just to help you guys you know settle into the country i watched a lot of these kind of videos when i was also coming to the uk last year and i thought to you know make these kind of videos for you guys that are my viewers my subscribers that are also watching and will most definitely be coming in september or like august however it is so basically the things to bring and the things not to bring to uk when you're coming how to pack your load what you're supposed to pack the essentials you're supposed to pack because let me know if you like for you packing is hard it is hectic you guys <laughs> you know when like when i first started writing lists and started getting stuff i thought like i'll just get everything then pack it together it's when you start packing and then you start weighing and then you start weighing and then you understand because your um what's it called luggage allowance on the flight is i think 23 kg for two bags yeah for two bags although when i came when i got here i heard that qatar airways gave students another 23 kg but like i think you have to go like apply for it on the website or something but me i just didn't get that gist so i can't really tell you don't ask me about the extra 23 kg because i'm not sure i didn't get it me i carried 23 kg in two bags and that is one i'm coming to come and give you guys and i will like explain how you can pack your load and the things you're supposed to bring the ones you should not bother bringing and all of that anyways without wasting more time let's get right into the video first of all when you're packing or when you want to buy stuff i I'm advising that you buy like boxes or bags that are lightweight. You will need every tiny bit of your 23 kg when you're coming to this country because it's like it's like you're moving and then you have um load constraint. That's how it is. So like you need every tiny bit of 23 kg. So buy light bags like the duffel bags. I used two duffel bags. Although I used one that was like very 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 lightweight and I used another one that was like a box just you know secure my what's it called like um the fragile items basically so but i would have actually bought the two lightweight ones but i just didn't see so if you see i'm going to put a picture of what i'm talking about the bag i'm talking about here or if you're buying a box also just make sure it's lightweight so that it doesn't add to the you know weight of what you're supposed to carry and then you now ending up carrying you now end up carrying lesser stuff so the first thing you're supposed to bring are your documents I mean, why are you why are you living home? Why are you living in Nigeria without your documents? When I'm saying document, I'm talking your international passport, your um, what's it called, your tickets, your um, your acceptance letter, your cars, your bank details and bank, your tuberculosis certificate. This one is very important. Your like um, what's it called, passenger locator form, all those documents, your passport photograph, every important document you have in your life pack it you will need it you will need it in this country pack everything and when you're packing them make extra photocopies of them so that when you need them for any documentations you're you're going to easily be able to bring it out put them in your backpack don't put them in your box put them in your backpack because the moment you get to uk body they're going to ask you for some documents and you have to bring them out you cannot be telling them that you have not collected your baggage you're going to get to uk but you're going to pass them before you can go and do baggage claim so every important document you're carrying put them in your backpack that you're going to carry your um gadgets so when i'm saying gadgets i'm talking your laptop your laptop charger your phone charger i think your laptop and your phones and everything should be in your backpack also don't put your laptop inside your box so if you see the way they handle the luggages you will know that that laptop could survive it i don't want to know how you want to do it 
if somebody has told you that they put their laptop in their box and survived maybe it's not the same sensible person that carry their own box that will carry your own box out of the plane or into the plane so respect yourself and put it in your backpack put it in your backpack your laptop your laptop chargers your phone charger your flash drive external drive um camera if you have one um take an adapter one is okay because you see them here but like just take one should in case you're in a situation where you get to where you're going to in the night and you need an adapter uk socket is the same thing we use in nigeria uk socket is the same thing we use in nigeria uk socket is the same thing we use in nigeria. i'm saying it three times so that you can hear me if you are hearing me hear me don't let somebody be lying to you i had somebody text me one time i asked says and hey, what's the socket they use in uk because somebody told them it's, it's, this is not canada this is uk it's the same socket the three mouth square thing that's what we use so the only reason i'm saying take an adapter is maybe you want to charge your laptop or your phone at the same time or for some reason your laptop like my own laptop the um charging mount is not the same with the uk so i use an adapter and it's the adapter i brought from nigeria that i'm still using so yeah that's the only reason i'm saying but socket is the same thing socket is the same thing don't go and buy unnecessary thing and be spending your money now we're going to um academic items i know that you're coming for school i know that some of you or some of us read a lot. You people have these books. You you like this. You have done medicine in Nigeria. You have come here to further your medicine. We get it. But if I'm going to advise you, yeah, keep all those textbooks, everything, keep it at home. Or better still, dash it out. Or maybe take it to a library where they will use it or something. If you're like me, then you're lucky. You don't have any book you're carrying. But the people that, oh, you guys read a lot to keep your textbooks, don't bring any textbook here. Every book you need is in the library. If it's not in the library, it's online. Don't bother. Don't bring this book here. You don't need it. Don't even no need. Because it's going to add to your luggage. It's going to add to your 23 kg. And then you will not be able to carry important things. If you're coming with any jota, just come maybe one jota. One or two jotas. Maybe for emergency. Like, yeah, just an emergency. Maybe you also write something down. Or maybe you have class the next day that you're coming. Before you, like, get out to buy stuff. So, bring your maybe two jotas. Bring two barrels or three. You're going to see barrel here. Don't pack load like you're going to body school. This is not body school you're coming to. Because I know my people, those of us that went to body school, that will pack everything from home. So that's not it. Don't bother. Cello tape, you can buy a small one. Stapler, you can buy it because you will need to staple a lot of documents. You will send a lot of documents when you get to UK and all that. I don't think that stapler is one of the things that you would want to come and be looking for. You get. I know, I'm not saying stapler is not here, but you don't want to come and start looking for stapler. You get me? So, yeah, stapler. All the sticky notes, um, your diary or journal, and yeah, highlighters. So I, I, I have a list on my phone. That's what I'm using, right? So that's what academic things. Now we're going to go to clothing items. If you're coming in August or you're coming in September, trust me, you have maybe one week or two weeks before winter. Mm. It, it would already start getting cold. And for you that is coming from Nigeria, and you're just coming here, it will be very cold for you. Like when I first came, it was still like some 16 degrees, 17 degrees, and me, I was already shivering because it was already cold. Like it's not the same weather. So if you're coming in August, you're coming in September, see, one thing I'm sure about, yeah, I want to tell you now is there's clothes here. You'll be tired of buying clothes and wearing clothes. And they're not all that expensive. When you're coming, jeans, trousers, carry three or four. One blue, one black, one other blue, or maybe two blue, two black. See, at most, carry four jeans trousers. That's all you need to start your life. You people, when I came to this country, let me tell you, I had like maybe 10 pairs of clothes, like pieces, one, two, three, four, five, maybe 10. That's what I brought here. And now, I don't even have space again to keep clothes in my wardrobe. So don't worry about it. If it's clothes, it's plenty here. You don't need to you don't need to pack all the all your clothes, all your ah, I can't leave this one, I can't leave this. Leave it. If you have a younger sister now, this is when your younger sister will enjoy life because she's going to chop all your clothes. Don't buy winter jackets from Nigeria. Do not buy winter jackets from Nigeria. Do not buy winter jacket from Nigeria. Number one is that first of all, it might not even be as thick as what you see here to catch the cold. I understand that you don't want to enter and go. Last, last, buy a jacket. I'm not saying don't buy a jacket, but that jacket, don't even put it in your load. Tie it around your waist or have it with you. You don't need to put it in your load because it's going to add to the load. And there's no need for that. The moment you enter the con towards your the moment you enter Hitro by the cold, will, it will hit you. For you that you are just coming. Like, I'm not saying, you, like, considering, thinking about it now, it wasn't all that cold when I got in. And I came here like, 
12th of September and it wasn't really that cold but to me it was cold because I was just coming here for the first time so the moment you come in the cold will hit you all right so what I'm going to advise is just maybe take one jacket that can work for that from the airport to your house where you will stay then you can consider your winter jacket plants okay don't pack winter jackets inside your bag already it's going to just take up space and it might not even be as thick as you might be considering it as thick in nigeria but when you get here you will see that that's that's like the lightest thing you can wear in this cold the cold can get a lot you guys the cold can get so much and i'm telling you that so that you can prepare your mind so if you're coming come with your um your thick long sleeves all the short sleeve you cannot wear during winter oh. it's only in summer you can't wear it in winter. Cold. If you think you like AC, that you're taking, I mean, I would like the cold. Ah, AC stays well on my body the entire year. <laughs> but it will tell you. Bring like your long sleeves, your um hoodie. But like don't now pack plenty. When I say bring your long sleeve and hoodie, bring like say three, four, five long sleeves and like two hoodies. That's enough. It's enough it's enough relax don't bring all your words uh -uh. <laughs> you will not even now wear it that is the thing so don't bother although i'm not saying that in the moment you come in here you come and size your money to buy clothes i know that that's what all of, most of us are thinking that I, I cannot just come and start buying clothes when i come but really yeah it will save you more because the clothes you bring from nigeria that you consider thick might not even be that thick to you to the weather so like it's easier for you to get here and then you like know what you're buying because it's going to fit to what you need at the moment do you understand yeah your shoes also really yeah i would also say don't pack all your shoes if you are somebody like me that likes shoes a lot and like you you have like say 20 pairs in legos you don't need to pack your 20 pairs all you need to do is bring two or three sneakers that you're going to be wearing for the meantime and maybe one heels or two heels even during winter you don't really see people wear heels what they wear here is boots and sneakers because it will be cold even your feet will never want to and you can't wear socks inside heels now can you so basically you will buy the heels here you will get heels Every, see everything that concerns fashion here is a lot you'll be tired so don't bother and i came i came with two pairs of sneakers and like maybe two heels also that's what i came with obviously guys all your shoes are covered so just you know bring sneakers sneakers are like very comfortable to wear around here like because you walk a lot in uk did not tell you before Umaru, you walk a lot there are a lot of five minutes walk seven minutes walk there are places that you never see boss to you just walk it so basically yeah just bring your shoes the comfortable ones the sneakers you don't need to you can just bring formal clothes me i would advise that you don't there's no need for formal clothes it's only clear that you wear to class so what i would advise you maybe bring one or two traditional clothes like ankara i brought one or two yeah i brought like three or four actually ankara i've only worn one since i came even when i go to church in winter it's jeans you wear jeans and jacket ankara can hold cold and if you don't wear the Ankara, you now wear the winter jacket. It looks funny to me. It always looks funny to me. I always wear your Ankara during summer. Yeah, so you bring your nightwears, obviously. Nightwear also. Just take one. When you come, you help yourself. Just take one or two. Your sunglasses. Backpack is very important. Like, that's where you put your laptop. That's where you put your stuff. It's easier to have a backpack here. Um, Utensils or kitchen items. I know, I know some people that brought pots from Nigeria. Hmm? I understand that when you first get to where you're living, you might not be fully furnished. But I don't think you should bring pots from Nigeria. Don't bring pots. Don't bring plates. Carry one plastic plate or maybe one plastic cup. One plastic cup, one plastic plate. Cutleries that you're going to bring, carry plastic plate, um, spoon and fork. I'm saying this for like maybe you want to use it for the first two days. And we're not even in the time where you're doing um, quarantine anymore. So, like, the moment you get to UK, last last you sleep for the next day. The, or the day after, you're already writing your list of what you want to go and buy now. Abby, you don't need to buy pots. You don't need to buy plates. All the songs, they are here and they are very cheap. There's no need. You get sensible five, 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 five plates for one pound here. And then there are charity shops where they even sell them for lesser. So, I really don't see why you are bringing pots into the country. Also, part of clothes, yeah? Bring warm bed sheets. 
because when you get here you don't know the place where like me now when i got to my accommodation actually they gave us bedsheets from the reception they give you bedsheet they gave you duvet if you're coming to clanny house in sunderland that's what they do they'll give you bedsheet they give you duvet so you might know if you're coming to Clanny, they will buy bedsheets but me i bought one bedsheet and the duvet was already here they gave us duvet now I don't want to believe that some people carry the way from Nigeria. No, I don't. You can't be doing that now. I don't think so. Bring your towel also. Don't bring a very big towel. Just bring a towel that you can use in the morning. Right? Bring mini sewing kits. I brought um a bag that has um tapu. Um it has tapu. It had um it has um needle and thread, different color, I think black and white, different needles, it has buttons. Just essential, like it's a bag. You would see it in maybe supermarkets or like a co market or like a proper market. Those very small bags of sewing kit. The amounts they will use to amend clothes for you. You will buy another one of that clothes that you want to amend. So there's no need. So let's listen to sewing things. If you don't know how to tack button, I don't know why you're doing your own economics class in your junior secondary school. Plus, now those skills are useful now. So there, buy needle and thread. Even if you don't know, you find somebody that can help you. Buy needle and thread and bring. Okay, so don't bring scissors, don't bring knife, don't bring uh, any sharp objects. Blade, you can bring blade, but like the blade has to be inside, inside somewhere. You cannot bring sharp objects because, first of all, they might tear your bag, and secondly, they might not, if they see it at the airport, they won't let you go through with it. So, there's no need. Leave them. You can get knife here and scissors, all those things. You can get them here. So, toiletries. Obviously, the toiletries. So, I don't know say you should pack toiletries for the whole month or for the whole year. Inside your load. There's no need. Take something that can last you for a week or two. Your toiletries, if you're a girl, your makeup products, not everything. And I was coming, so I had to, like, downsize. But, me, I do makeup. Like, I'm a makeup artist. There was no way I could have done size and size. I still had a lot to bring. Like, I have a whole drawer of makeup. And I've never bought makeup. I've not bought makeup in this in this country at all. So, there's some things, like, some skincare products that you might not, like, those of you that use black soap. Like, I used to use black soap in Nigeria. And I brought, like, some four packs of that black soap when I was coming from Nigeria. Just last me for, like, some time. Before I now find the soap that I might want to be using when I get here. So, um... Things like that. My body oil that I use in Nigeria, I had to bring like two containers of it. So it's just so you don't get here and then immediately. First of all, your body is trying to adapt to the weather. Your body is trying to adapt to the environment. And then you now start using different things. It might not, you know. So for your toiletries, you can bring one extra one or two extra ones. That's if you know that you can't find the toiletry. But if you use the likes of Dove, Nivea, them, 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 you find them here. So just buy one. And when you come, you go to the supermarket and get them. So yeah, you can bring um prastamol, um stuff for kata, stuff for belly pain. If you have normal medications that you're supposed to take, say you have like constant medication that you're supposed to take, bring them along and bring the prescription. But for body pain drugs, for prastamol, for flagyl, for for normal like first aid drug. Is there any drug that's first aid? But you you put you get what I mean those ones you can bring them because first of all you it's not e easy to like walk into a pharmacy and get drugs here like ladies tampons or sanitary towels bring some just bring one pack or two if i just bring one pack say maybe you come and maybe from the flights the turbulence your period now come and decide to show because when you come here um i heard the gist of oh your um menstrual circle might change and it actually happened to me. Your menstrual circle might change. So just buy it so that you're not caught on our ways and all of that. Your hair styling tools now. Attachments. Bring your attachments. Me when I was coming, I brought a lot of attachments. I've never finished using it. I brought a lot of attachments. Bring your attachments when you're coming. Your wigs. Your wigs. Your wig. If you can buy more wigs, buy. In this country, to make hair is struggle. <laughs> to find who will make your hair is struggle. And then when they, when you find it, the amounts they will call for you. If you if you try and just convert that money, you feel just get a headache. You feel just say you know do it again. But it is what it is. Your hair gel and hair cream just brings my size. You see hair gel here. Yeah, you see a lot of hair oil. So 
you don't really need to um you can bring a small umbrella the small umbrella there's umbrella here let me not lie for you but it's just like the times that rain falls in uk it's very funny it, the sun can just be up like this the sun is shining the day is brightening up and all of a sudden it's already dropping so the umbrella that i brought from nigeria is what i'm still using so you might as well bring your umbrella too the small ones now that you can fold don't bring long umbrella don't go bring apc yeah oh. is it apc that has umbrella or pdp whatever there are some things that are very special to you like i'm talking um pictures of your family like i mean those ones are already on our phones these days but you might just have maybe a frame or two that you want to bring i'm hoping i'm praying for you that it doesn't bring before you come but yeah you can bring it some people would brought their small teddy bear that they hear about since when they were small you know i left food to the last because food is the one that will take like 60 percent of your load um since i've come yeah i figured out that a lot of the things we need that we buy from nigeria they are in uk don't get me wrong they are here but you will bring them just because bring the ones that can last you for a month the only things you might bring that might not last for a month are the things that you might not see like number one you see that uh smoked um catfish i'll put a picture if i can find it it's very scarce in this country you might not find it if you find this is extremely expensive so that one you can bring a lot snail me i love snail like <laughs> my friends that know me i don't joke with my snail i brought snail from nigeria yeah i brought snail from nigeria but like i had dried it like i had you know dried it put it on stick you cannot bring meat you cannot bring meat like yeah meat you can't bring meat you can bring dried pomo but you can't bring normal pomo also put the dried pomo also where it's supposed to be like those very dry one that when you now soak inside water now it will come up you can bring that you bring your dry fish gary there's gary here and very good one in fact I, the gary i even brought from nigeria eh was not as slapping as the one i bought here like i understand that you might say oh these things might be expensive yeah, but yeah the price difference is not a lot and like instead of paying for extra luggage the money you used to pay for extra luggage it's not worth it so don't bother don't bring yam i know somebody that said she brought she, she put yam in her bag what kind of thing is that there's no need to bring yam there's yam here you don't have to bring yam it might be small and maybe expensive but if you are cooking for only yourself, how many yam you yourself won't chop? How many? There's no need for it. There's no reason. I don't see the reason why you should bring yam, two bar of yam into this country. There's, I can't, there's no reason that it's going to make sense. Don't bring yam. There's nothing you want to come and use yam and do yeah. Bring your no. You'll find no here also in African store, but maybe bring one pack. Salt. Don't bother. You'll see salt here. Maybe bring the small one, Sha. Normal provisions, the milk, your milo, bring sachet ones so that they don't take so much of your space. Maybe bring like two rolls and two rolls of them, maybe for the month before you like start buying stuff. But yeah, cereal. Yeah, bring just one pack of cereal. Maybe your favorite cereal from Nigeria. You'll find cereal here. Is this the land of cereal? Everything is here. Biscuits is in the palm oil. So this palm oil matter, eh? Normally, I'm not supposed to bring palm oil. But some people like my mother said you can freeze it and bring it me i didn't bring palm oil because i knew that the way they used to handle this thing if the palm oil break it will just destroy all your load you guys you know how that's going to be if it just if the bottle of the palm oil um, gets broken it's just going to spill all over and that's a lot of work for you there's palm oil here it's not as nice as the one we used to use in nigeria but it's not it's not like you cannot use it at all so there's no need to bring palm oil but you can maybe bring a small bottle shower for you to use don't bring an auto oil there's no need there's an auto oil here don't bother you can bring indomie say maybe like 10 or 20. there's indomie here there's nigerian noodles here like the original indomie that all of us were eating is here you will buy it in the african store and it's not expensive last time i was i think i bought like maybe three for five pound or something like that is it three or five i can't remember but it's not that deep you don't need to bring one carton of indomie to, to uk your egg will see your bono utazi and uh, or 
Mm, what else? What else? What else? Dry okra, crayfish, all of that, all of that. Just bring the ones that can last you a month or so. They are here. Even stockfish is here. So bring ones that can last you a month or two. Even if you bring one that last you a year, it will still finish and you will still buy. So what's the need? Why are you paying for extra luggage when you can just always get it here? And it's not even, the price difference is not a lot, sincerely. Let's be sincere with ourselves. So yeah, you can bring all of that. Just but bring your cameron pepper, bring your, your red pepper. I don't mean tomato and raw pepper. I mean like dry pepper. Bring it. So last for like two months or so bring soya pepper you don't find i don't think i've ever seen soya pepper here so you can bring the one i brought i'm still using pepper so spice also it is here but you can bring your own because it might be you know a lot more spicy than what we're going to get here and also bring your cash if you want to um money from nigeria you can if you have changed your money from maybe bank black market whatever hold your cash because when you get here, you might not be able to open accounts as fast. But like they are already fast bank that you can open now. I think I've covered everything. The next video is going to be talking about the things you're supposed to do when you first come into UK. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, happy packing. Pack your load very well. Pack it. And then, yeah, buy this weighing thing. This thing, this, they're very small. I have mine, but I can't remember where I, have, where I put it now. I'll put a picture of it. Buy it so that you can weigh as you pack. Weigh your load as you pack so that you don't get to the airport and then your load is overweight and they're telling you to either pay for extra luggage or like you start scratching it. If you still have any questions about what you can bring and what not to and I did not mention it in this video, leave a comment down below. I'm going to be replying your comments and I'm going to be telling you if you can bring them or not. And the ones I'm not sure of, I will tell you I'm not sure of it or I will help you check. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel again. Do not forget to share this video with your friends that will find it useful. Till I see you again in my next one, take care of yourselves and have fun.